So if you're looking for some help when it comes to ClickBank names and ideas, you are going to be in the right spot. So what I'm going to do is bring up my trusty little notepad and talk about three different ways of creating your ClickBank nickname. So in case you want to go in there and you want to have more recognition, maybe you want to have authority, or maybe you want to be incognito where you're an affiliate and you don't want anyone to identify who you are when you're using ClickBank. Well, let's talk about it right now. So here's one of the first methods when it comes to creating your ClickBank nickname account. Like I said, I'd be using my notepad and the first one is going to be called the authoritative affiliate. So these usernames are generally going to be based around either your first name, last name, or a combination of both. Okay. Reason it's called this is because when it's authority, you want everything to be about a specific name or brand. So if you have a website, you can actually use your ClickBank nickname, something similar to your website. So let's say your nickname was Marketing Island, you know, for your website. Marketing Island, you know, I forgot how many characters you can use max, but you know, something like that. Um, Island Marketing anything related to that. So it could be a brand. Also your name, you know, for me, it could be J cans, James cans, JB cans, you know, whatever, something that's easy to identify. If you're more of an authority and it's not necessarily a brand, but a person, then you're going to want to go with your name. It's just easier in case someone scrolls down and say, Hey, you're no, you're going to be purchasing through my affiliate link. If you scroll down on the bottom of the checkout page and you see the name, a lot of times it's going to be easier for customers to match that up, especially if you're giving away bonuses, that's definitely going to be something you're going to want to do. So that's very easy. If you're looking for a bigger brand or name recognition, then go with something that's related to one of those, whether it be your brand or your name or variations of both. Okay. All right. So next we have the beneficial affiliate. So these usernames are generally going to be based around the nickname that is benefit enriched. So what do I mean by benefit enriched? Well, think of anything when it comes to marketing, you know, the best price, best offer, best offer for you. Another way of talking about benefits is if you're in a specific niche, like say for golf, you know, uh, super swing or better golf swing. Okay. Something like that. Anything that's related to benefits is just another angle when it comes to creating a ClickBank nickname. The cool thing about this is that it's a little bit on the anonymous side. Like some affiliates like that because they'll create a lot of websites. They'll create a lot of assets. They'll create a lot of say landing pages. And with each of them, they'll have separate accounts. That way someone can't kind of figure out which affiliate is promoting all these offers in these different spots. It's a way of kind of guarding against competition and copying it multiple times. So this is just yet another random example when it comes to benefits that you can use as your nickname. Think of something that's related to purchasing. Think of something that's related to the offer or the offers or the types of offers that you promote. Okay. So that's the second one. Let's move on to the last one. All right, last but not least, we have the random affiliate. So the random affiliate, these usernames are about as random as they come, seriously. If you've ever clicked on someone's ClickBank link, go onto the checkout page and scroll to the bottom, you'll see something like this. That's me just randomly typing. How about this? That works too, okay? There's no rhyme or reason to this. These are some of the best for, I guess, keeping anonymous if you wanna be that way. Not that it's a bad thing, some people prefer that. And it also is very good if you're doing high volume and you wanna kinda stay away from competitors knowing that you're using the same username or nickname all throughout on your landing pages, your traffic sources. It's just a better way to diversify to make it look like other people are promoting when it's especially one. But you could do anything you want. You could look outside your window and talk about flowers. It could be a garden. It could be birdseed. It could be movies. It could be something in your house. It could be a random combination of letters and numbers, whatever it's going to be. This is completely up to you. While it's, you could always just go into Google and be like random word generator, something like that. Going to be up to you, but that's the last possible option. These are the three that I am most aware of that I have seen that kind of fit into categories. Obviously, the random one can be anything. Then we have the beneficial affiliate, where it's going to be some type of benefit that could be seen when it comes to your niche or the offers that you promote. Then, of course, we have the authoritative affiliate. This is great if you're doing a lot of promotions with bonuses because you want your customers to be able to make sure that they're on the right spot. So when they get to the checkout page, if they scroll down and they see your name or their brand, something that they are very familiar with that are no they're going to know that they're in the right spot so i hope you enjoy this when it comes to a few examples and tips when it comes to coming up with your clickbank nickname if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up or feel free to subscribe for more videos i'll talk to you soon